next week on my channel, I took another look at one of the brand new Playmobil Ghostbuster sets. I also started up a new series of videos looking at some of the classic Robot Wars pullback toys, starting off with the big daddy of them all, Sir Killlot. If you haven't seen those videos yet, please, please do give them a watch, even if you're not a big fan of either of those franchises. It would really, really help me out and help the channel out as well. And tell all your friends, all your Ghostbusters friends and all your Robot Wars friends to give them a watch as well. Anyway, let's get on to what we've all come here to see. Let's talk some Doctor Who. Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans and welcome along to my spoilerific review of The Lie of the Land. Wasn't that my Aunt Beatrice? No, no, no. Wait. She was the Lay of the Land. Anyway. I thought it was an interesting idea to have the monks portrayed as some kind of loving deity. It had a strong religious element with the monks being benevolent in return for obedience. We even see this with that giant monk statue echoing the Jesus statue in Rio. And also Bill creating this vision of her mom in her head to calm her down and help her focus is something that resonated strongly with me, as that's something I tend to do with my own parents. We've seen elements of this in previous episodes, but never to this degree, which also had sort of a satisfying payoff toward the end of the episode. I also happened to catch that sneaky little reference to Magpie Electricals. It was the name of the shop where people were watching the televisions that had the broadcasts of the Doctor. Man, that is one strong business if it can last all the way from the idiot's lantern all the way up to the beast below. The first part of the episode felt really dragged out with Nardole and Bill tracking down the Doctor to the prison boat off the coast of Scotland. And on top of that, the interactions between Bill and the Doctor were very tense when they finally do meet, with some interesting ideologies on free will and fascism, but it again kind of went nowhere when it was revealed the Doctor was just lying to check if Bill had been taken in by the monks. And as for the regeneration scene, Man, they were jumping through hoops to make this a thing. I can't decide what's worse, this episode or the one where David Tennant channels all his regeneration energy into his handy spare hand. I think this one's worse. This might actually be worse. This is a cheap trick. A cheap, dirty, dirty, horrible trick. How dare you play with my emotions? Even though they tried really hard to make it believable with the intense dialogue and the rising music, I just didn't feel that Bill would have enough motivation to shoot the Doctor. And Peter Capaldi really hammed it up getting shot with those flailing reactions to taking each bullet. It feels like the writer knew that this would be Peter Capaldi's final year, so just tried to work in this fake regeneration purely for the trailers alone to build up some more hype. I did enjoy seeing the inside of the vault, as well as Missy helping the Doctor work out how to stop the monks. I love Missy as a character, and even though she's allegedly on a path to redemption, she's still got a long way to go as she's still so flippant about life and death. Michelle Gomez has lost none of her appeal and delivered a very fun performance as always. The scene where the group make their way into the pyramid, it again felt like treading water and I just remember watching it going, hurry up, come on, I want to get to the finale. They tried to make it a bit less lackluster by having that one guard kind of tune back into the whole memory manipulation thing and then he pointed the gun at the doctor but honestly I was just waiting for it to end. The finale had some great visual elements with the screen used very effectively to show the mind battle between the Doctor and the Monk. I also enjoyed Bill making the sacrifice to fight the monks and her thanking the Doctor for helping her and that it was ultimately worth it. It was a very, very sweet moment. It also made sense in a way that the monks were brought into power through Bill's love for the Doctor and defeated through Bill's love for her mother. It was very fitting and a great way to bookend the story. For me, it was a little bit too late though. The Lie of the Land gets a 6 out of 10. The Doctor getting the monks to trust him, even though he was just pretending, never really had any consequences. And Nardole being poisoned in the last episode didn't go anywhere either, which I was very disappointed in, and the resolution felt very underwhelming for two episodes worth of build-up. For me, the scenes with Missy gave the story a much needed boost in the middle of an otherwise flat story, with a few excellent ideas, but little excitement, and an ending which was good, but not great. But never mind all that, what did you think of this week's episode? I want to hear comments, I want to hear opinions, I want to hear your own mini reviews. 
in the comment section below. I do try and read and respond to as many as I physically can. And guys, like I said at the start of the video, please try checking out some of my non-Doctor Who content. It really does help me out, helps the channel out, gives me a bit of a morale boost as well, and gives you all some extra madness in return. And if you do know a couple of people, maybe a friend, maybe a relative, maybe that guy at work that sits by himself and looks a little bit disturbed, Go up to them and say, hey, I really like this guy's Doctor Who stuff. He does the sort of stuff that you're interested in, you nut job. Maybe you'd enjoy watching his reviews, because that's what you guys do. That's how you help me out. You share my videos, and then people watch them, and they go, hey, these are great, and they share videos, and that's how it happens, and so on and so forth. So please keep doing that. I feel like Bill Murray at the end of Scrooge here. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, I apologize for the madness. There is more madness yet to come, and more madness on my channel. To keep up to date with all of that madness, please do hit subscribe. Uh, you can also follow more Melty Bit Madness by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter as well for more current updates and general nonsense. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, farewell. I need to lie down. Oh, look, a floor. Oh, that's so good. So good. <laughs>